Hello good day viewers. In this tutorial we are going to derive the sine rule formula and subsequently derive the cosine formula as well. So sine rule formula stated that sine of an angle E divided by the side length opposite to that angle which is lowercase letter E is equal to the sine of angle B divided by that side length opposite to the angle B which is donated by the small letter B and this is equal to the sine of an angle C divided by the opposite side length to that angle C which is donated by small letter C. So this is what sine rule stated. So what can we use this formula for? We can use it to find the missing side length and angle of other triangles apart from right angle triangle. For example, if we have a triangle like this, you can see that this is not a right angle triangle, right? We have A, B, and C. This is small letter A, this is small letter B, and this is small letter C. So we can use sine rule whenever you are given an angle, let's call it theta, and also the side length opposite to that angle. So these two must be present. If you are given these two, and one of the other side lengths or angles for example you may be given this angle and ask to find the side length so you can always relate them whenever these two are present and one of these two is also present you can use the relationship here to find the missing side length or angle so now let us drive this formula very important let's assume we have a triangle here which is not right angle triangle the side lengths, this will be C, this will be B, and this will be A, right? I want to draw a line perpendicular to the line BC from A. So we have something like this. Thereby forming a right angle triangle here, right? So we have now two right angle triangles. What will be the sine of B? Sine B is equal to opposite divided by hypotenuse. So I would like to call this the height of this triangle to be h so that is the opposite side right divide by the hypotenuse which is c then moving on to the other side if we are asked to find sine of c which is this angle it will be opposite divided by the hypotenuse right so we have opposite divided by the hypotenuse which is b then i would like to make h the subject in both equations so here by multiplying both sides by C, we have H to be equal to C multiplied by sine B. Do the same thing here. We have a H equal to B multiplied by sine of C. So you can see that these two equations are all expressed in terms of H, which implies that their right hand sides must be the same since their left hand side are the same. So this implies that c multiplied by sine of b must be equal to b multiplied by sine of c now i would like to divide both sides by cb 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 from left to the right you can see that this is c this is c they will cancel this is b this is b they will cancel and finally you can see that sine of capital letter b which is the angle b divided by its opposite side, which is B, is equal to sine of angle C, divided by the opposite side, C. And if you partition the triangle in other direction, you're going to obtain the other relationship, which is sine of A, divided by small letter E. And hence, we have just established the relationship between these angles and their respective sides. You can see that here. This is exactly what we have just proven. So subsequently, we are going to see how we can apply this formula in finding the missing sides and angles of a triangle other than right angle triangle. Thank you for watching. Do share to your learning colleagues and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more exciting videos. Bye-bye.